In so many big tournaments, from the stacked Smash World Tour Central America Regional Finals to the prestigious Smash Ultimate Summit 3, we've been seeing a lot of Pyra and Mithra as of late. Because of this, we think it's time to ask the question, are Pyra and Mithra high tier or top tier? How's it going, Smashers? My name is Bonk, and in this video, we'll be answering that very question. Let's take a look at what makes the characters so strong in the first place, starting with their neutral. Naturally, being one of the fastest characters in the game with the highest dash speed and the 11th highest air speed, in addition to having some exceptionally quick frame data on her normals, Mithra is going to have a pretty solid neutral. She's not the safest on shield, but the disjoint on her attacks provided by her sword allow her to be safe if spaced properly. This leaves her well equipped to play the typical Smash Ultimate neutral very well, even though it may be somewhat demanding given how difficult it can be to control her high speed. This game, I've said it now that there's more people here, this game you have to jump through 10 hoops to punish someone drooling out of the side of their f***ing mouth. You have to jump through 10, 15 f***ing hoops to punish the stupid shit, and I'm really good at jumping through those hoops. I'm really good at jumping through those hoops, not with Mithra and Pyra though. Of course, Pyra is nowhere near as fast, and her frame data is nowhere near as generous, so she won't be all that reliable in the neutral, and you'll be reliant on Mithra to create openings in most cases. With both characters, their out-of-shield options are exceptionally poor, and while this is exploitable, their strengths more than compensate for it. Advantage is another area where the character performs notably well, and Mithra in particular excels at creating high-pressure situations and punishing attacks and air dodges out of hitstun. Her high mobility and great frame data enables her to create pseudo-vortexes where the opponent may struggle to pick a defensive option, and in this regard, she's actually quite similar to a character like Fox. Advantage is where Pyra begins to shine as well, as the stage control supplements her poor mobility and allows her to take advantage of her hard-hitting, generously-sized moves to blow people up in the corner. This is not to mention that both characters have relatively potent combo games too. As for some things that they aren't so good at, they aren't exactly perfect in the disadvantage, and both have highly exploitable recoveries against most of the cast. We've already mentioned their poor out of shield options, and it may be worth mentioning that Mithra technically doesn't trade that well, as her damage per hit isn't exactly on the high end, but her disjointed hitboxes make it very difficult to force trades against her when played correctly, and virtually no characters would be able to take advantage of this to any substantial degree. That being said, there is something you can take advantage of right now. ProGuides is offering a free trial of all of their services to anybody who signs up using the link in the description. For three days, you get access to hundreds of courses taught by your favorite pros, as well as one free coaching session when you sign up. If you want a taste of what it's like to take your game to the next level, you should definitely check it out. Now that we've laid out their strengths and weaknesses, we need to assess just how well the two compensate for each other. And honestly, their strengths far outclass their shortcomings in most regards. You have a character that does well in the neutral, does well in the advantage, and while their disadvantage in recovery isn't exceptional, it's called the disadvantage for a reason. And even the best characters in the game become exploitable when they lose stage control, except Zero Suit for some reason, so that's to be expected. Overall, we think Pyra and Mithra's shortcomings will have the same impact on their viability as Smash 4 Cloud's recovery did on his. That is to say, not much at all, really. So, how do they stack up against the rest of the cast? In terms of matchup spread, many notable players have speculated that Pyra and Mithra may lose no matchups at all. The only character consistently placed as a losing matchup for Pyra and Mithra, as seen on the charts of players like Spargo and Cloudy, is Pikachu. Everything else is up for debate, and very few top Pyra and Mithra matchup charts have any more than two or three losing matchups at most. This may be highly optimistic, and the counterplay to the character is still being developed as they are relatively new, but prospects are high given their recent performances at the top level. That's right, that means it's time to talk about the results, and, well, Despite how recently the character was released, and the ongoing global pandemic, some Pyra and Mithra players have already begun to make some noise. 
From MKLeo's convincing set wins over Mars and Zachary, Cosmos' dominant win over Ned, and the character's overall prominence at events like Smash World Tour's Central America Regional Finals, Smash Ultimate Summit 3, and even Mega Smash Monday's 240 and 241, Pyra and Mithra are practically everywhere in the current meta. Between their clearly above-average neutral, exceptional advantage state, and their incredibly potent combos, we think there's good reason to believe that Pyra and Mithra are top tier in Smash Ultimate. They aren't without shortcomings, but that can be said for any character. Either way, with all of the extremely capable players beginning to pick her up, including the likes of MKLeo, Cosmos, and Spargo, you should certainly expect to see more Pyra and Mithra at the top level in the near future. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, Smashers. Do you agree with our placement? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe and go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. That's all, and we'll see you guys in the next video.